Good evening, I'm London Swan. Republican lawmakers announced today they are delaying action on a proposed constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriage. Despite a Republican majority in both state houses, House Speaker Brian Bosma and Senate President David Long cited an upcoming U.S. Supreme Court case in their decision to wait. Bloomington business owners this morning urged Governor Mike Pence to complete Interstate 69 and devote more resources to the defense and technology sectors. WTIU's Dan Goldblatt has more. Mike Pence met with Bloomington business leaders to gauge what his administration can do to encourage economic growth in the region. He says the economy is one of his top priorities as governor. All of our focus uh, since uh, uh, I was sworn into office has been to really marshal the resources of our state to develop the kind of budget, to promote the kind of policies uh, that are going to really seize this moment to get our economy moving again. Pence has been traveling the state, presenting his plan to boost the Hoosier economy to representatives of Indiana companies of all sizes. Ari Vidali is the founder and CEO of Envisage Technology Corporation. He says Pence left out one important thing on his much-touted roadmap to economic success. Noticeably absent were the IT sector, which is where a lot of innovation will come from and a lot of the jobs of the future, I believe. The high-paying jobs of the future will be in technology. Many of the company representatives who are at the meeting say information technology is a driving force in their business plans, and retaining talent has been a major source of frustration in recent years. To remedy that disconnect, Pence says he wants to bolster the state's image to encourage young, highly educated workers to stay in Indiana after college. Businesses that sit along the slated route for I-69 also asked the governor to do what he could to complete the interstate as soon as possible. For WTIU News, with producer Erica Washington, I'm Dan Goldblatt. Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett hopes to head off rising health care costs by creating a new health clinic for city employees. He estimates the clinic will cost about $200,000 up front, but he believes the city will save money in the long run. To help find savings, the mayor wants to eliminate some benefits for employee spouses, including forcing them to purchase health care from their employers instead of from the city. Now here's a quick check of the weather. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of rain, lows in the lower 30s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs around 40. And tomorrow night, mostly clear, lows in the lower 20s. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org. For WTIU News, I'm London Swan.